Hi everyone, uh, so we're back. Uh, last video we talked about um, training, so this time I really want to talk more about nutrition. Um, it's mostly a nutrition for a busy lifestyle and I think that pretty much everybody has a busy lifestyle lately. Um, if not, that's fine. You have more time to prep your food, uh, weigh your food. Um, these are more accessible um, tips to help you. Uh, I think everybody has a short amount of time in the week that they can prepare their food. Um, that's the biggest, biggest thing um, to have results is to be able to prepare. What I mean by prepare is actually make a whole batch of chi typical chicken, you want to make a batch of your rice or sweet potato fries or you want to make anything um, just in a bigger batch so that when you come to, to do your lunches, to do anything, you can just grab and go. Because um, if you have to start making it in the morning and you don't have much time, either you're not going to make it and you're going to buy something out at work or you're just going to take something that's very accessible in your fridge, which technically you shouldn't have anything bad in your fridge. Uh, like those already made subs or those things like that. Don't really recommend it. Uh, things that you can just grab and go that are not so bad. There's like these tuna cans with the crackers. It's not so bad. There is mayo or things like that. You can actually get the, the tuna cans on their own. Buy the tuna can. If you're really motivated, you can just add mustard to your tuna. <laughs> that, that's competition prep and that's no need for that in a regular lifestyle. Um, but it's all these things that will really help you. So again, preparate, preparating. Everything is really important. Having that scale, um, I can't put enough emphasis on having a food scale. The food scale is so important to know how many, how much you're eating, because technically, and this is what I teach all my clients, is you can eat everything. It's just in what amount. Um, I don't really like to put restrictions. I don't like to say you can eat this, you can't eat that. Um, that's just not me. I don't like that because eventually you're going to eat whatever you want. Um, and as soon as your body says, oh my gosh, I haven't had a piece of cake in forever. I'm just going to keep all those calories that you just gave me from that piece of cake I had. And I'm going to keep them for myself and you're just going to gain weight as soon as you eat something that's not on your meal plan. So what you can do is have a little bit of everything. This is what I find hard and what a lot of people find hard is that when you have just a little, it's like you want so much more. So sometimes for me, I just say, Meh, I don't want to. I don't even want to touch chocolate. I know that for me, if I have Nutella, I'm gonna have the whole pot. Okay, maybe not the whole pot, but I'll have a lot, a, a lot more than what I should have. Um, but that's to know how your body reacts, how you are as well. There are alternatives. Um, for a sweet breakfast, there's. I have the oatmeal with protein in it. Um, it's like having a cookie in the morning. Uh, you can also have Greek yogurt with a little bit of uh, chia, um, which is really good, or some cereal adding in there and fruit. Any fruit will give you that sweetness that you're looking for, um, especially post-pregnancy, not even post-pregnancy. The fruits are good for you. You're going to hear so many things. Fructose makes you fat. Um, <laughs> Broccoli make make you fat from now on. Like it's crazy things that you're gonna hear, but at the remember the basic. Anything that's fresh, uh, that comes from the the the, the um, that grows for, in our environment, um, like fruits and vegetables, you can't go wrong with that. Yes, if you're competing, then you have to tone down on the sugar, but you still can incorporate fruit. It's just in what amounts, okay? Um, our nutrition plans can really help you with that if that's something that you, you need. Um, I say a nutrition plan and not a diet because I hate the word diet. It's not a diet. It's really a lifestyle. Um, how to incorporate everything. There's bread. You can have bread. What amount? When can you have it? What time of the day? Are you working in the morning, at night? What should you be having around your workouts? There's so many factors that come into consideration when you are um, building a nutrition plan. And this is why you want to meet somebody who has education, who's read on this, who's um, been taught all this by professionals, just because it's so, it can affect your body in so many ways. And usually it's not in a good way, okay? So you have to be sure that you are, um, if it's not for, if it's not us, it's somebody who knows what they're talking about, has the experience, not because it worked for them, it's going to work for everybody else. That's not how it works. It's not one 
that one nutrition plan, one diet fits for everybody, but not at all. So um, just keep that into consideration. Uh, if you need some tricks, um, please don't hesitate. There are recipes on the website. I'm trying to put some more ideas as well. Um, and they're really good. They're healthy. Um, they're balanced. That's the big, big thing is that there is carbs, there's protein, there's fat in our meals. It's not just a low carb. There are low carb um, alternatives for on our, our website. Um, low carb meals can be more at night when you're less active. So you want to be incorporating your carbohydrates around when you're going to be the most active in your day. If you're going to go and have um, some bread, some toast, and your, like your big breakfast at night before you're going to bed, what's the point? Eating, remember, every calorie that's going in is to give you energy to do activities, to be more uh, efficient. Um, so at night when you go to bed, you technically don't need those calories, but you do need to eat. It's just to know what you need to eat, and usually you want to stick to something more low-calorie. You can have some uh, Greek yogurt. Um, any milk products are really good because they have that casein, so it's a really protein that um, digests on a long period of time. Uh, cottage cheese is another big one. Not very many people like cottage cheese. I, I don't. Uh, I would prefer to have protein shake before. Um, but I always stick with the Greek yogurt. If you're really, really hungry, like for pregnant, um, not pregnant, for um, moms who are breastfeeding like me, uh, you're up, I don't know how many times during the night, you may want to incorporate a little bit more fat before you go to bed. So like rice cakes with peanut butter on it um, can really get you uh, less hungry during the night because you may be up on your feet or sitting but being awake. Uh, a bit more than anybody else. So that's one thing to take into consideration so you're not starving while you're breastfeeding either. Um, drink a lot of water. That's the last thing I have to say. Drinking a lot of water is going to help you eliminate your toxins. It's going to help you feel fuller. Um, get your system actually activated and working more efficiently as well. So if you have any other questions, uh, nutrition-wise, there is so many things we can talk about. Please don't hesitate. Um, I love talking about this. I'm getting back in the role of things. So um, you are not bothering me if you are emailing me, Facebooking me, anything. All right? With that, have a good day, and we'll see you soon.